good hello there and um, now I want to show you some other stuff I've been working with some 3d stuff and this here is my card game um, I don't know if the camera is moving around probably um, either way um, it doesn't matter I think I can take this into full screen yes I can as a matter of fact good okay so what this is is a um, it's a card game I've been working with actually I've done it before in 2d but now I decided to use 3d because it looks a lot better um, I have some camera overview here um, I can move around the entire map I have my cards and the enemy has his cards um, I have my cards over here in the corner um, where they are presented as my hand the current hand that I have so um, what we got here is um, Oh yeah, of course, I need to get the angle right. Okay, good, I can't. Okay, good, so... Different cards, I can choose between. Mana. Mana cards. Um, I got a, an enchantment card here, and I got a creature, and a creature, and a creature. So, um, the important thing about making a card game like this, a combat card game, is to create um, good artificial intelligence. So, um, what I want to do is I want to... Um, make it unpredictable that's the most important thing because one thing is if you plan if your opponent has planned every step uh, he's going to uh, to do like for instance if you do a tower defense game and you have planned the how the waves are going to be each time you can always counter that because you know it because it's predictable so what I want to do is I want to create an unpredictable artificial intelligence who works on you know he, he takes his turn based on some tactical decisions but in general it is based on based on randomization and thus making it unpredictable but I want to show you how the game it works so um, I'll just take a few turns and you can see I'll start by playing mana yeah so I played a mana card it, it and look look it looks so good so it's 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 hovering above the floor here and you know you can see the shadow and everything is just good good okay let's get back uh, okay the this camera is ridiculously retarded um, okay, let's. Uh, I'll change my turn then. Good. Yeah. Okay. So let's see what's going on. Okay. So he plays a mana card. Okay, and and the opponent doesn't choose or has you know he cannot uh, play any creatures obviously. Okay, so I'll play another mana card and I'll put a creature into play. This creature is called the War Machine. It costs two blue mana because it's a blue card. That's the way I've chosen to do it. And he has the ability to shield, which um, damage dealt to War Machine is reduced by one. And he does one damage and he has two durability. Okay, good. So I'll play him. Nice. Look at this. So he comes into play now and we can see that a card is here. And um, you can see that he's a 1-2 creature that uh, shows his, his, his current, um, his current um, health and uh, attack. Uh, I, I call it durability and strength, I think. I think I call it strength. I don't know. Okay, yes, yeah, so let's let's take our turn again. Okay, so he attacks the player. The player cannot defend because he has no creatures. He plays another mana card. And okay, good. So because I have the shield ability, um I didn't take any damage because his creature is also a one two. It's actually the same creature, it's uh, also a war machine. So this means these two creatures will not be able to deal damage to each other. That's ridiculous, but that's how it goes at the moment. Uh, of course, I will have a lot of you know variations in creatures and so on later on. So yeah, but I played another mana card now, and as you can see, in the left corner there are player lives, enemy lives, and how much mana I have currently. That was just for checking, you know. I, I, these are valuables are just for checking. So I want to play my Mytheria now, I think, which is a kind of a dragon that has uh, flying. I, okay, so I didn't read it, but I can still read it here. Uh, flying. This creature cannot be can, can only be blocked by other creatures with flying or reach. Um, you might remember, uh, you might recognize these kind of terms from the Mighty Magic the Gathering, which of course I've, I've, I've got some inspiration from them, that, no doubt about that. So there's a 2-2 two, two flying creature. Eh. Good, let's see what's going on now. So, yeah, that does nothing, and okay, that attacks the player. So the player is down to 7 life points now. Okay, so okay, well, so he damaged me, and as you can see, I lost one point of health here. So I want my Metheria to last longer, so I play the Power Orbs. Um, this is, uh, as you can see, enchantment. Target creature gets plus two durability. If this creature takes damage, you gain plus one life. So I'll gain life each time uh, I suffer damage on that creature. 
and as you can see it's an enchantment so I can choose where to place it and I'll just scroll in so you can see the animation I have this uh, hovering square uh, kind of thing uh, above my creatures and of course there are only two creatures so there's only two targetable creatures at the moment well I wanted to put on this okay so you can see the power of it went uh, behind the metheria and uh, now it's a 2-3 two, two, creature um, because it got the buff uh, plus 2 durability good so let's see what's going on now yes still nothing happening between the two there and he lost two life points the enemy because it's a flying creature so it cannot be blocked by other creatures and so he plays in theory as well okay good oh and I took one damage there and I took another damage point there okay good I want to play my last creature now and this is basically now we're done with all the turn taking of course when the decks get bigger and more randomization in the cards uh, it would be a lot different but now you just see how it's uh, how it's executed and I'm, I'm pretty glad with the results um, oh, so he attacked me yes I think I will be able to win this I don't know Good, so he died now. Okay, so he will probably kill me now. That he will, yeah. Okay, so this was just to get a basic idea of how the game is working and what I've done. So, okay, so now we are back again here in the game. And uh, as you can see here, I have um, what I have done here. I just have to check how long the video is by now. Okay, so what I've done here is that instead of, uh, in my old game, uh, card games, I always drew each uh, creature sprite every time. But I didn't want to do that, so I have like, you know, creature sprites uh, and card sprites in general, not just creatures. But all the card sprites are actually 100% created before the game actually starts. So uh, at the moment there are not m that many, but what I did was I created a program just for this alone. So what I created was I created this, I call it card creator. Um, pretty simple and so what it does I'll do it when, it, when it gets opened what it does is this is the best thing I've ever done I think so I can go here and and of course I have some values this is only for creating cards right so I put like okay I want a to create a red card good and then I put in the name it could be called like the, the commander I don't know the commander and I find, find a picture and I can see that I got some different pictures here. I have picture number 21, the commander. The picture, I can go again and see, okay, uh, 24, that's the power orbs, for instance. And I can go further, like 27, but like, let's say 24 here. 24, good. And I can choose a text, um, let's see, 21, the commander, okay. I can say um, he has the ability to, I don't know, each time. Uh, the commander attacks, he gets plus one, uh, I don't know, durability, so, um, okay, good, and so I can give him some attack value, I can say he has, you know, like four attack, and he has like two defense, or one defense, I don't think two defense, and he has a cost of, he costs like three red mana to play, maybe more, maybe four red mana to play, ah, that's, Three red mana, and then I can save the card, and I save the card as sprite um, creature red because it's a red creature, and I'll call it the commander. And when I look into my folder here, if I go back to my game folder, here, the, here it is, the sprite I just created. It, this is this is the most genius way to do it, really. If you want at least to make it um, 3D, I think this is the the best way of doing it. So. Um, this is some of the stuff I've been working with. Um, please comment on you know what your suggestions are, what your thoughts are about it, and uh, I'll keep you updated on my other stuff. I have some three-dimensional turn-based game, three-dimensional, um, three-dimensional tower defense game. Also, I've been work working with. I'll show you in a moment. But this is what I'm working with at the moment. Oh, that's Katarina from League of Legends. Yeah. So uh, glad you watched it.